Hello and welcome to today's relaxation station. Today I'd just like to show you some of the fossils that I found here in Texas along the creek beds. Start with this one right here. This one's just a massive clump of different little fossils from shells to snails to whatever it may be inside there. This weighs about three pounds. And we did break half it and left this half there. Now the half we did break found this inside. And this is, I believe, an ammonite. Couldn't tell you anything else past that. Have a little bigger one right here. In fact, this one right here, when you look at it right there, you can kind of see where it looks like some other little fossil is, or maybe his guts. I'm not really sure. And then we had the big one right here. He weighs about three pounds. Now all these were found in the same area. And then we have the turtle shell. And that's what I've been told it is, a turtle shell. It looks like one. And it weighs probably about a pound. And this right here, I've been told from a fossil guy that this is petrified wood. This was found between white rock that split, and there's actually a long line of this. Broke this little piece out. It's really rough on the edges, on the, I mean the sides. Kind of flakes off if you really pull on it. The edges are kind of smooth. And if you look inside, well, it's just like a road, some a piece of road, but it's actually petrified wood. I mean, he said if you got it hot enough, you could, it was kind of smolder a little bit. I haven't tried that yet. This is my, we believe a barracuda tooth. He said he wasn't really sure if it was a barracuda or a shark. And let's put this together like that so you can get a better idea on how big it is. And this was found along with cedar around the cedar tree area. And right next to it, basically, I found this little guy right here. It's my pride and joy. And I was told it's an ammonite. And uh, Skype Fight, I believe the name is. Don't get me wrong. Don't beat me up if I'm wrong on that little name. I'm not good at the little names. But he's between 90 to 95 million years old. And he said it was in pretty good shape. And the area that I found it in, he said it should not have been in. I believe these stayed about this size. I'm not sure if they got any bigger or not. I know these guys back here would get pretty nice size. I did have some smaller ones of these. Never had anything that was perfectly all around. And these kind of, almost what I've seen, almost looked like the shape of these right here to the extent. And he's a relative of the squid and octopus. Now these right here, I'm not really sure what these are. I have not been able to find out. I haven't took them to anybody. So if anybody knows, any idea, let me know. I got a couple like that. They're and we have this one right back here. I mean, they kind of look like bones, but I'm, I'm not going to say they are, I'm not sure. And this one, we're just not sure what it is. You know, some bit, some you know, people have said it looks like a turtle. I just think, kind of think it's where the rock, dirt, or whatever, crystals, or whatever that is in there kind of got molted together. If you have any idea, just let me know. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. This is the stuff that I see when I go out places, and I just wanted to bring a little bit to you. Thank you for watching, and I hope you're having a good day.